Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So for this week's handbag series, I'm going to try and recreate something like these traveling bags or travel bags. And they've got these, this like drawer at the bottom. So this one here, um, form follows function in a travel bag that holds its own stationary drawer. Designed for train travel, this personal Portman 2 was the first portable office. German 1905. And then they kept that shape again and they had gas mask handbags. And these were designed by the British government in World War II to resemble everyday bags, sturdy, sensible, thrifty and safe. And you can see the drawer at the bottom has the gas mask. But I really like this design here. And in my head, I've got an idea of having a drawer that will pull out either side. And that one's a British one from the 1940s. So that's today's inspiration. So let's get started. So the paper pad I'm using today is this one that's called Happy and it's one of the Craft Sensations design pads. Picked this up a while ago now from the range. It was only around 2 99 Beautiful patterns. I have used it. I used it on a backpack maybe about a year ago. I'll pop that one up here now because if you've got that paper pad you may like that idea as well. But it's got some beautiful, some of my real favourite colours here. The hot pinks, the yellows, the oranges and then that teal colour. So when I saw that I kind of wish I'd maybe brought two because I don't have a great deal left. But it's a really nice one. 250 GSM weight so it's a great one for making your 3D projects. But for the main bag that's going to sit on top of the drawers, this is a piece of 12 by 10 and along the 12 inch side you want to score at three and a half and eleven and a half. Then you want to, I'm just thinking if it's worthwhile. No, yeah. So then along the 10 inch side, you want to score at three and a half. And then you also want to score at seven, but just to the first score line. So just down to that one that you done earlier. Then pop it back and score at one and three quarters down to the score line that you just made there. So just creating the side piece. You want to do this twice. This is what we'll have. So if I fold all this in, which I'll talk you through in a moment, what we've just made there is the kind of top of that travel style. So that score line and all the, the other one there is all part of this kind of folding piece. Then you want this piece, which is what the drawers are going to slide out of. So this is 12 by 8. Now ignore this first score line. You want to score at one and three quarters, four and a quarter, seven and three quarters, and ten and a quarter. Again, ignore that score line that I've got there. Those are going to be stuck to the bottom of the bag, so it doesn't matter that I've got those there. But what will happen is it will fold like so. So you have that tube, that tunnel, and that's going to attach to the bottom of the bag. And then you'll want two pieces of eight and a half by eight and seven eighths of an inch but along the eight and a half side you just want to take a little sliver you just want to take one of the one sixteenth so you've got all these tiny little markers it's one of those that you want to take off so if I lie this down and pop it in here you'll see it sits perfectly on eight and a half I'm just bringing it down to that first tiny little marker. The one after that is your one eighth of an inch. It's that little sixteenth. It's the one in between. If you would rather in centimetres, if I just bring that back to the eight and a half, it's coming in at just over 21 and a half. So I would pull it so it's just under 21 and a half centimetres. OK, you're just taking, you can see there, just a little slither off. That's going to allow us to be able to slide it inside that little tube. Once you've done that, you want to score it two and a half on all four sides. So we'll go back to the main two pieces because you may just want this to be your bag. It looks really nice uh, as a style on its own. So the drawer and everything, we just add on extra. So with this piece, you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. OK, so you have something like that. Don't worry about trying to fold these ones because until we actually start putting it together, you won't be able to do it that well. So along the bottom, you want your half inch tab on the right hand side here. And then you just want to cut up the first score line to the first score line. And then you'll have this smaller section here. Again, you just want to cut up. So you just got this little piece here. And then I'm just going to snip that away. Like so. Again, you'll do this on both pieces. Now this 
little section just take a little wedge off of each end that's going to allow us to be able to attach it all together so this is our tab and then with this square i would recommend taking the corners off of each side there as well so this will fold in nicely now that we've cut all that away you'll be able to fold that under and you'll be able to start to push that in if you pinch those ones together but push that out and you might get a little bit of buckling there in the corner just push it in with your nail but you'll see it's like a milk carton so just kind of just start manipulating it into that shape once you've got both of them ready you're going to grab your glue and i'm using the kalau all purpose and i'm going to first of all run my glue down the tab it doesn't matter which one and then just flatten that down a little bit and then i'm going to make sure the base score line here lines up and then the rest will all fall into place like so and just give that a moment to dry and then just flip it over and then fold over the side where you've got your other tab and again you just want to run your glue down there and then just fold that one over and the whole bag will lie flat okay so you'll have something like this and then turn it over decide what you want to be the front or the back so I'm going to have this one as the back so I'm going to fold that one in first and I'm going to cover this in glue again if you want to reinforce this I would pop another sheet of cardstock in between these layers but you're also going to attach it to that tray piece on the bottom you could also reinforce that as well if you wanted to but because I'm sticking it to that with this glue I think it's going to be fine pop the sides in and add glue to those and then bring that one down and just give that a minute to dry so you should now have something like this and then you can just bring in the top there and you'll see you get that effect so it's just like a large milk carton at the moment pop that to one side next we can start on the base okay so grab the pieces for the drawers and you just want to fold and burnish all of the score lines along the long side you want to just cut up to the first score line so just there and then here And then flip it and do the same on the opposite side so you'll have something like this and then you just want to take a little wedge off of all of the corners or all of the sides sorry of all the corner pieces okay so you'll have something like that again you'll do that on both pieces and now you want to fold in all of the sides and stick them together so I'm going to add my glue onto the top I'm doing this on each of the corner pieces and then bring that in and then the side you want to bring it up you're just going to make a little kind of tray small box just make sure you get a nice right angle it all lines up here you can move it around a bit as well when you've got the liquid glue until it's in place and then just go around to the next one and just do that on both of them until they're all stuck down and it's nice and dry so this is one that i've already finished and you can see i've got this lovely embossed detail on the front and i've got a little handle there to be able to pull them out so you're going to want two pieces of three and a quarter by two and a quarter and then i've just embossed those and that was using the lisa horton it was the small embossing folder from the magazine kit one that she done so i've just used that and i'm going to stick them again on the smaller ends that you'll you'll see because they fit there and there you can see on the sides there they're too big so you're working on the smaller ends and then i've just got these i'll link them i, th I think i can remember where i got these and i'm just going to pop a blob of hot glue and then pop that in the middle if you want to reinforce more of this the sides are reinforced because they have the sides where we've just stuck and then these ends get reinforced because we're sticking this cardstock on and again because i'm using the um, construction glue it's it then strengthens all of those sides so i'm going to get that all stuck down okay so i'm just putting a blob of glue and then just let the glue just cool for a little bit just for like 15 20 seconds as long as it's piping hot to start with 
if you just let that cool it just means it's not going to ooze out everywhere and then I can just kind of hang it where I want it to go and I've got a little bit of wiggle time it might be quite hot because it's metal and it will conduct through that so just be careful but now it's cooling down I can really push down on that like so and now we've got our little handles okay so then you want to attach this piece now it's exactly the same amount it's half of the base basically so you want to stick one half like so and then what we'll do is we'll let this fold flat and then the other half will sit over the top so what i would recommend first of all is adding your glue in all of that section to that score line again ignore that i've got that this score line here yours won't have that one when I was kind of planning it to start but just lay the glue down like so and then line up that score line here with the side of the bag if you fold it over that way you can make sure you get it right up to the edge and then I'm going to add the glue now to the other end to burnish that again Again, you won't have that score line there. So just cover the same area that you just did. And then you're gonna lay that piece down and then fold this over and just let it go where it, it needs to. That way we know that we've got the exact size. Just let that grab. And then when you open it up, you should have that and it will be stuck where it exactly needs to be. Now, if you wanna just, while you've still got wiggle room, grab your drawer and you should be able to slide that in perfectly because you took that little bit off the side. You can see now how that all slides into place. So I've got a little bit of wiggle room. I'm gonna get the other drawer in that end as well. At least that way, if it does expand it slightly while the glue's still drying, it can do. And slide that one in. Might have to pull that one up a little bit. like so and that way it give you a surface now to be able to push down again so you can put your hand in there push the glue down and just make sure everything's lined up so your box should now especially if you're using the all-purpose glue should start to feel really strong now i want to cover the join here with this strip which is eight by half an inch. So I've got two of them. So I'm going to have one this side and one on the other side. And then I've got my little D rings here. And these are going to be for the top with the handle. I'll link these D rings, but I think they are three quarters. Well, actually these are done in mill. Um, they look like, I think they do it from the inside possibly. I'll have to double check. I mean, they're coming in. I think these are the 25 mil and then like 17 deep. Any size you want will work, but because I've got that size, I've cut these strips here, which are three quarters of an inch by two. Just, put, you know, just curve the cardstock a little bit, pop the D-ring through, and then I'm just going to add, pop it in halfway, and then I'm just putting a quick grab glue just on one side there, and then just fold that over. You might end up trimming this. I may well have to trim mine depends on how much I have you know how high I want them but that's now and then I'll add glue and I'll attach the d-rings to the bag here the top of this I'm changing slightly because again like I always say with these I need them to work as a gift bag and with paper so I've also got this piece which I'm going to have a velcro closure you can see that's going to you know keep the top of the bag together this is a piece of three and a half by two and a half along the three and a half side I've scored at one inch and then I've come in from this end I think it was no I've come in one so I've just marked with a pencil on the back here you can see I've just come in one inch from this end and then I've just marked the middle point there which is one and a quarter and then just cut the triangles off then you can you know have this any design you want you don't have to have the triangle you could have you know, um, just a square, like so, if you wanted to, it's entirely up to you. 
But I'm going to get these pieces stuck down and then just see if there's anything else I want to add. Okay, so they're stuck down. Now what I've done is I've pinched this in. You can see that I've really pinched it down. I've got maybe three quarters to an inch there. And then I've cut myself two more strips to go along there. And I've used the reverse of this, so it's that polka dot. I just think it's gonna finish the top a bit more. And then I'm going to st stick these either in between there, but then I think you're gonna, might you might see the, although I do quite like that and that way it's concealed or if you want you can just stick it inside the actual bag in fact I think I'm going to do that I just worry that the the shape of this will come through that so I'm gonna I think I'm going to stick these down first it's up to you how much you have hanging and then you can attach your ribbon afterwards but I think I'm going to have about about there I think that looks really nice so again I'll get one in place and then I'll just measure that one for the rest And then I'm just going to add my glue to the tab. See the little piece where you scored there. And then this is going to go in the middle here. That's perfect. And then I'm going to add a Velcro dot underneath that one. I mean, if you want to cut that shorter, but I like having all these different pieces over the top because it looks like a real leather bag you know they were all different sizes i've got satchel bags where this piece comes all the way down here so but if you want it to be more cleaner then you know cut that so it's the same width as this if you want then i'm going to stick down my happy birthday which is going to go in this section here if you want to add some more pattern paper and layer it up you can and i'm also going to finish it off with my ribbon Okay, so with the ribbon, I'm going to thread through both of the this side and then I'm going to come back through this side and then I'm going to make sure that I've got enough to make a handle on each side. I'll come down a bit lower there, you might see. So I think that's a nice height there. And then I'm going to make sure I give myself the same kind of amount. So I might come through a bit more here. It's kind of like a, a drawstring handle, but it's a double one. So like that. And then I'm going to tie with a big bow here on the front. So it's going to be on that bottom left. Okay, so that's the finished gift bag. So again, I'll just bring it up a bit closer so you can see everything. And I've brought back the inspiration here. So you can see that kind of detail at the top, which I've tried to keep. And then when you squash down the sides, you've got that look there. And then this has the one drawer, but we've got the two. And I just think it's really good. You've got lots of space in them. You can decorate inside there if you want to as well. I love the happy birthday along the bottom, but like I said, if you want to put pattern paper there, you can, and then maybe have something here or a gift tag and then because of the way that we thread the ribbon through it's easy to open and it kind of expands and you've got all that space inside there so yeah thoroughly pleased with this one it's really different and um, I'll look forward to filling this one with some gifts 
unless my mum pinches it which she tends to do so <laughs> but uh, yeah thank you for watching as always if you're new to my channel and this is the first of this handbag series using this book then check out the playlist that's coming up now because I've got some others there I've also got a gift bag playlist which has, which has over a hundred tutorials so there's loads of inspiration there so click on the the boxes that are popping up now and if you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed if you click on my face and you'll be able to hit the notification bell and that way you'll be notified every time a new tutorial is released thank you for watching check the links in the description box below and i'll be back again very soon bye